Ladies and gentlemen, the very first snapshot for Minecraft 1.20 has been released. And it's available for everyone to try out. And I'm super excited to get into this because all the four new features that was mentioned and showcased in Minecraft Live 2022 has been added for us to play around with. This is super exciting, so let's get into it. Now we're actually going to jump into the world creation scene here because if you want to uh, play around with these new features, you're actually gonna have to go into data pack and then install or move over update 120 to enable the 1.20 features for Minecraft. So if we proceed with this and then create the world we are, and click yes here, we are actually going to in be enabling the brand new features from 1.20. So if you don't do that when creating a new world in the new staff shot you won't get things like the camels or hanging signs etc speaking of hanging signs i think it is most suitable that we go to a village i think to test these out properly i have located a desert village let's head on over here and say hello to the natives hey fellas how's it going Oh wow, we're dropping right into a, uh, into a camel here. Okay, we, we're gonna take a look at you, buddy, in a moment. That's awesome. But here we have, first of all, the hanging signs. All right, first thing I want to test is how many characters can we actually fit on this and how many lines. So testing with some hashtags here. So we got four lines with eight characters per line. So that is awesome. We can go ahead and do something like subscribe to Binary Vigilante, which you should totally do. Now, my question is, can we dye those? If I take some, maybe some, yes, yeah, cyan dye, and maybe if I go and get some glowing sack. Yep, glowing sack and dyes does apply to the brand new hanging signs. Now, if we place it like this, we got... Uh, let's see. We got Joe's shoes here and maybe we want to get some brown dye because shoes brown and again we get some glowing sack. Yeah, something like that. Really will spice up your shafts now. And of course these exist in all the different wood variants of course as well as the bamboo wood variant which we will be taking a look at in a moment. But I feel like now that we got the camel right here with us, I think... Oh, he, he's doing a dance. <laughs> he's doing a dance for us now. This guy, if you move out a little bit. So this guy is quite tall. Listen to the footsteps as well. He's quite tall, way taller than me. And he's laying down. We get to see the lay down. He, this guy knows he's on display right now. He, he knows he's going to be seen to the world. Right, so if I take a saddle, can we just put it out there? Or do we need to tame him? Let's find out. Oh, we don't need to tame them. We just flop down there. Yep, you flopped your ears. Okay, so if I right click you and now I'm on. And I press W for him to get up. Ooh, that's amazing. That's amazing. I don't think I can tell him to like lay down. I can shift right click to access the inventory here. And it does appear one saddle will work for both players. Oh, I love the animation. I love this animation. It moving right and left. Quite realistic. Look at this, guys. We are riding a camel in Minecraft. This is awesome. Now, of course, it's not very fast. If I press control, oh, no mind. If I press control, this guy can run quite fast, actually. All right, now let's try this dash thing. Do we have a ravine nearby, I wonder? Let's find out. Holding down this, whoa. Okay. So one thing I noticed when I did that was the bar turned red and I'm unable to run. I can't press control for a little while. At least until this guy gets his stamina back, which of course makes total sense. I want to try something here. If I just stand still... Oh, that does work. Would you look at that? Makes it way easier to cross rivers. Now, I don't think these guys can actually swim. No. <laughs> Can't swim, but they have tall necks, so that they'll be fine when crossing smaller rivers. So this guy is actually quite fast. I mean, just walking like this is really, really cool and cinematic and lovely. But if you want to be in a hurry, yeah, this is awesome. I'm gonna name this guy. I'm gonna name this guy Ben. Oh, and he's laying down again. There we go. Ben, welcome to Minecraft. Hope you enjoy your stay. One thing I do want to check out though is, so if I press W while sitting on him, yep, I just wanted to see <laughs> the animation while sitting on the camera itself. This is awesome. All right, Ben, you're going to hang out in the city while I look here in town while I look at the other features, right? Yes. Good. Hey, sir, please get out. I need your house. 
Actually, no, I don't. That's a lie. Because I want to make my own house using the new bamboo wood type. So we got bamboo planks, we got bamboo mosaic, and we got bamboo stairs, of course, bamboo mosaic stairs. Oh, so these mosaic blocks actually get their own stairs and slabs. We, of course, have the fences here, fence gates, door, trap door. We get signs, we get hanging signs, buttons. Pressure plates and of course a raft and raft with chests. Definitely want to play around with all of that. But first, we need to build a house. Actually, before we do that, how do you actually craft these is a good question. So very easy. You just put four bamboo in here like so and you get bamboo planks and you can use it for any other wood as well. Now, I don't remember how you actually make the mosaic uh, bamboo blocks here. Aha, it has been revealed. If we go ahead and take some normal bamboo slabs and put them together on top of each other like so, we get the brand new bamboo mosaic block right there. So that is good to know. All right, I'm going to continue my amazing building skills here. You know what, guys, this house is going to be absolutely phenomenal and you guys will love it when you see it. They Look, the entire village is coming to see the brand new bamboo house. <laughs> this is amazing right here. Never ever seen before in Minecraft. Bamboo is being used to build with, which you look at that. There we go. Maybe we go ahead and get a little bit creative with the doors here and maybe a little bit with the friendly creature sounds. There we go. So we place some doors like so. Uh, maybe some trap doors like this. I mean, this is looking great. This is looking awesome so far. At least if it's up to me to decide. <laughs> and I love the sounds these make as well. Like, it's very, very satisfying. Look, the guys, these guys are already using the brand new community build. This is awesome. I'm trying to finish this guys as fast as I can here. So I think maybe for the back here, maybe we go ahead and install some fences as support on these sides as well. Yeah, something like that. I like this. You know what? For my first attempt at this, uh, uh, not too bad. <laughs> I, I, I approve. I approve of my own build. Feel free to rate it down below in the comments. All right, I think we have played enough with around with the bamboo stuff. Of course, we do have the buttons and the signs. I haven't actually seen the actual bamboo sign here. Ooh, the texture of this is nice. There we go, lovely. And if we go ahead and do something like this. Oh yeah, yep, beautiful. And as this is a community house, we can add some pressure plates on both sides here. Love it. Now, before we move on from doing the bamboo stuff, which I feel like took probably way too long, <laughs> got a little bit carried away. We got the brand new raft and we got the bamboo raft with chest. And these function just like boats, the sounds and everything, but the look is a lot more, like they said in Minecraft Live, adventurous. Plop that down over there. Like it's a boat, but this looks a lot more adventurous. Like we've literally strapped together some bamboo here put a chest on it and off we are to be doing some adventuring. I love this. All right, but I think that is enough playing around with the bamboo. We need to take a look at the brand new other feature, which is the chiseled bookshelf, which is kind of why I didn't do the flooring in here, um, because this block, as it is, looks amazing as a floor. Now again, I'm getting carried away and you, I should probably tell you how to craft these. So this is the recipe right here. Six planks and then the three oak slabs in the middle will get you the chiseled bookshelves. And in the world, they look like this, have beautiful sides. And then they have the texture, of course, in the middle there, nothing on the back. The bottom looks like this. And yeah, again, they act great as flooring. And I mean, they could be used as walls as well. If I, let's say this wall wasn't exposed and I would have a pretty cool looking wall. But of course, the primary feature of these is to hold books. So we can hold books and quills. We can hold normal books and we can hold a bunch of different enchanted books. So if I maybe go ahead and get another book and quill here so we can really take a look at this. A great book written by Binary Vigilante. I'm going to sign it. The book by Binary Vigilante. So we can go ahead and we can just right click with enchanted books. Now, right now at least, we can't control where the book is uh, put. That is probably going to come later, later on. If I then right click, I get the books out. However, I get them in the order 
that I place them in. So I think this is something that's going to change eventually. If I quickly go ahead and change my game mode to survival, you can see the book actually disappears. Now, if I wanted to get that middle book right there, I have to go through the books in order to get set book so that's probably going to change in the future but i mean for now this is a pretty cool way of storing especially your enchanted books maybe you'll have a book section for all your protection books for example and then you can have all your protection books in bookshelves instead of chests that is gonna look really cool so there we go i have a sharpness on the left here and protection books here on the right and yeah this is looking really cool so that right there is the bookshelf i love it i wonder can i do the thing where I copy the NBT. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, it works. The inventory works. And then you just update it like so. So that's probably something that's gonna be fixed as well in the future. Now some smaller things as well is that they have reworked the creative inventory tabs, which I immediately didn't notice. I think some things have been moved around and the order of which things are displayed have changed a little bit. So for example, in building blocks, we now have the wood first and then each wood type has everything in that specific uh, wood category, which is looking really, really cool. I think, except for signs, I don't think, yeah, signs aren't building blocks. But yeah, this is looking really, really neat. That's gonna be so much easier finding stuff in here rather than having to go to search all the time. Then we've got nature blocks. Everything is sorted very nicely. Functional blocks then have all like, well, the functional blocks, really good name if you ask me. All like the furnaces, chests, barrels, chains, soul lanterns, uh, signs, etc. We got, of course, the redstone blocks, tools and utilities, combat, consumables. I don't think potions used to be in consumables, but that definitely makes sense. Then we got crafting, and this is new. The netherite ingot has taken the place in this, uh, showcasing this section. And yeah, that's really cool. The rest of it is actually showing twice here. That's interesting. Bone eggs, of course, and I don't think it has always been the shulker showcases this Vortex category, so that might be new as well. And apparently some stronghold placement code has been changed to be more efficient, causing stronghold positions to shift, so that's really awesome. They're still placed in the concentric rings, but their positions in the rings may change by a few degrees. I just read it through the website and it says some items can now be found in more than one tab, so that's why we saw the redstone dust and redstone blocks, and then also in the crafting section. We also got some chat changes and whatnot, but really what I wanted to highlight today was the four new features that we got shown in Minecraft Live and that will be added in 1.20 and well here they are. So guys that is going to be it for this video. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these four features you are most excited for and are going to be using the most. If I had to choose one, uh, wait where did, Bob, Bob, no wait Ben, Ben, where did, where did Ben go? Well I guess Ben got tired of me building and went off to some adventures. Yeah you know what? That's fair. But I think my favorite feature has to be the camels. But honestly, I am so excited about all these four features. So picking one in particular for me is really hard. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like. It helps the channel out a ton. And if you're new, do consider hitting that subscribe button as I will be covering more 1.20 news and features later down the road. So to make sure you don't miss those, be sure to enable notifications as well. But guys, that's going to be it for this one. Really hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, have a wonderful day as always. And... Goodbye. I, I can't do my fancy up to fine soon. Uh, I hope that gets updated soon. <laughs> hey, buddy. Enjoy, enjoy the new community house? Yeah, it's sick, right? Oh, Ben. Hey. You're exploring the savannah. Get back here. I need you for the thumbnail. <laughs>